Hello friends, how do you hope you are fine? So in this video, we are going to learn about transport management system in Java. So let's start. Here I use only fundamental programming concepts. Just use array, okay? And the index counter to process this software, okay? So this is the class for buses, okay? These are the buses that are available, okay? These are the seats, okay? So in each bus, you can see 40 seats are available, okay? So these are the indexes for each particular bus, okay? B1, B2, okay? So this one is used for current index, okay? And this one is the class for passenger, okay? So I create an array, okay? Like uh, 400 passengers, uh, uh, okay? Because we have only 10 buses, okay, and 40 seats uh, in each particular bus, so that's why I create uh, the maximum 40 of oh, sorry 400 passenger travel in our transports, okay. So, after this, you can see I create a class for stop, okay. So, we have stopped uh, like drivers, managers, okay. And these are the names for each one. Now I create a class for accounts to check the total incomes, loss, debit, credit, okay, after salaries, okay. So now you can see I create a class for cities, so these are our roads, okay. So at a crawl, we need to change how to shower. You may change it according to your requirements. So then I create a class for security, the pass and the okay. You, the first is uh, the first one. Okay, this pass is the pass for login to this software, and this one is used for just like when you are using accounts. Okay, so now I create the object for each particular one. Okay, like buses object. Uh, name as B, C, T, C, okay, same like that, uh, I create accounts, okay, so I name it as A, and set income and debit to zero, so security, okay, then I create a class for, so, so the object for security, okay, so here I have to check the user pass, okay, if the user enter a valid password, then we our software allow him to use this software. Okay, this one is our main menu. So for the case one, you can see we have to print all the routes that are available. Okay. Enter one for route information. So enter two for buses information. Okay. So I look through all and print all the information related to buses and the uh, routes. Okay. So after this, you can see I create uh, third menu. Okay. For seat reservation. Okay. So it's asked for user to which city from. Okay. Do you want to travel? And where are you from? Okay. So we book a seat for that particular customer. Okay. So this one is the code. Okay. So you can see here I use conditions. Okay. To manipulate all the software. So it's used uh, only for basic one. Okay. Like if you are using any fundamental programming project so it's used there okay so now i run this one and show you how it will work i will also upload my code to my website you will also get from there okay so now i run this one and show you it's working now here i have to enter the password okay so i enter one two three four so this is our main menu I enter one for route information okay so these are the routes that are available uh, these are the buses that are available okay 
so this this sheet available in auto okay and this was available in double print okay so i print on the base of their indexes okay this one is the number for that would recall that was okay so now i have to reserve a sheet so i have to select my city and i am in gujranwala so i press 2 here okay and i want to travel 5 okay so name bilal mail just write that okay around is 35 kilometer so you can see uh, seat is booked for me okay so now i type uh, 4 for passenger information okay and i press 3 you can see this seat is booked for that uh, particular customer okay so now I press 5 for account information okay so I have to check uh, 4 okay so you can see this is this one is the total income okay till now and now I press 6 okay for stop information so these are the stops that are available in our transport management system.